Mm-hmm. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed my. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> hope you enjoyed our little uh, Ghostbusters. As you can see, I'm, I'm more interested in finding hidden stuff and exploring <laughs> than actual playing. I guess that's part of the reason why I've never recorded myself playing games before. Right, Hobo? <laughs> oh, you haven't met her, have you? This is Natasha Hobo. When she first came in the house, Stephen thought he looked like the Black Widow <laughs> from Marvel. Or Batman. <laughs> <laughs> And I said he looked like Hobo, from The Littlest Hobo, an old program Steve and I used to watch. <laughs> Either way, mm-hmm. she's become our best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and this story involves another mischievous... Yeah. Oh, I haven't forgotten you, Sparky. <laughs> <laughs> and talking of mischievous dogs, particularly one that feels very, very playful... We've got a playful dog in our story today. Mm-hmm. After all, pretty sure if I caught any of these two hiding our presents, I'd probably get them to look for it. <laughs> did you? Did your parents ever hide a Christmas present for you? Or even a birthday present when they were younger? This story is a Little Mermaid story, and it's called The Holiday Gift Hunt. Ariel and Eric were enjoying a nice walk along the beach when their dog, Max, ran ran up to them. He was carrying a waterlogged boat. Max! Alex cried. I've been searching for that boat for months. Burying things and digging them up is his favourite game, Ariel said. The princess smiled. At least now she knew what to give Eric for Christmas. When Eric and and Ariel returned to the castle, Coletta told them it was time for tea. All ready, asked Grimsbury, checking his pocket watch. Hmm, must be broken. Ariel smiled. Now she knew what to get Grimsbury too. Isn't the Christmas tree beautiful? Ariel remarked. Coletta suggested we use red and gold ornaments this year. Those are my favourite colours, you know, Coletta replied. The next day, Ariel went into town to look for Christmas gifts. She bought a nice pair of boots and a ship in a bottle for Eric, an elegant pocket watch for Grimsbury, and a gold and ruby necklace for Coletta. Max's present was easy. She brought him the biggest bone she could find. Back at the castle, Ariel was wrapping the gifts when she noticed that Max's bone was missing. Suddenly, she heard a loud chewing noise coming from behind a chair. Max was gnawing happily on the bone she had gotten for him. No opening presents early, Max, Ariel scolded. Then, picking up her wrapped presents, she hid them under the bed. On Christmas morning, Ariel went to get her gifts. But there was nothing under the tree. The gifts were missing. Ariel! Cry- Eric cried. It's time for presents! Ariel joined Eric by the tree. Is it all right if we exchange gifts later? She asked. I told my friends I'd meet them on the beach. Of course, Eric replied. Come on, everyone. We're going down to the water for a Christmas visit. Flounder. Sebastian and Scuttle were waiting for Ariel on the beach. Scuttle handed Ariel a small chest. We thought these uh, whatchamagigs would come in handy now that you live on land. Ariel opened the lid and saw the sorts of treasures she had loved to collect when she was a mermaid. Thank you, she said. I love them. They're just wonderful. Just then, Max ran up holding a boot. Your present, Ariel said to Eric. Now she knew where the missing gifts were. Max had buried them. Surprise, surprise, Ariel said. We're going on a treasure hunt. Ariel, you are amazing, Eric said. Only you could turn the holidays into a brand new adventure. Soon, Eric, Coletta, Max and Grimsbury were digging around the beach. Each time a present was found, Scuttle delivered it to its owner. 
The treasure hunt was the most fun anyone could remember having on Christmas morning in a very long time. We should have a Christmas treasure hunt every year, Eric told Ariel when all the gifts were found. Ariel smiled. It had been a day full of surprises, but she had learnt that sometimes the most unexpected treasures were the best. Well, I hope I don't find you two have buried our presents this year. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be good boys and girls, aren't they? And you're going to be a good boy and girl as well, aren't you? Make sure the dogs, your pets, don't bury your presents. <laughs> and don't forget them this year. Even a nice little treat will do them just as well and make them love you for the rest of your, their lives. And the rest of yours, of course. <laughs> well, it's time to get these two little nippers to bed. Or burying our presents won't be the only things we'll be worrying about this year. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you. <laughs>